back out. Not ideal. Coat on. Fully waterproofed. Light rain. Bit breeze. So because it's not heavy rain, I think we'll be all right. We'll be all right in this. I was going to go quite high, but uh, the winds up high are nasty. So I'm not going to go as high. Still going to go up the hill, like just not a great big one. That's a nice little walk, this. It's about half three Saturday afternoon and oh, that's it really we'll just get a bit of walking done Ooh. going up there up there or possibly over the back of there depends what it's like windy or winds coming this direction which is uh i think it's like a southeasterly so it's like it's mild wind you know it's not cold it's strangely mild doesn't know what i'm getting like that though october november it's weirdly mild anyway i'm just hoping there's no cows up here can't be bothered you know what i mean uh, cows everywhere there's a massive field of them down there but they were all fenced in i'm hoping that's them all taken down because the weather's bad forecast is light rain all day i might have said that oh, it's, a, it's a long drag I haven't got me um oh. I haven't got my new microphone on yet. <laughs> new microphone that probably won't ever get used. That was terrible, that sound. I'm hoping it was just me, user error. I'll have to try it later. Whew, right. Concentrate. Get up this hill. Well, I'm up. Could be anywhere. It's not all about the views today. Whew. It's just about getting out and just uh, chilling out like. Once you get the tent up, won't matter about the weather. Might have brought the wrong tent. Um, I've got the inner pitch first, haven't I? And it's a bit, it's not that bad actually. That rain's not too bad. The breeze is coming this way. So I'll pitch the, pitch the door that way. That should be all right. Yeah, it's okay. There's no fresh cow pats here, so it's looking good. Let's get on with the tent erection, shall we? Um, just gotta find a flat bit. I put it there. Looks reasonably flat. All right, it's up with minimal getting soaked. Just getting these pegs together in the bag. I didn't get really drenched. Goes up quite well. It goes up quite quickly this. Once you get the inner set up the flash it just goes on. Whew! Good. Something on down there, I can hear music. What am I missing? I've got four more. <laughs> missing something down there. Proper loud music. Oh man, I want to be down there. I nearly stayed in the van, like it was tempting. But now that I'm here and I've got the tent up, everything's great. I'm gonna get in, get everything set up, get out the rain and the wind. You feel it's cold when you stop. I was saying it was mild before. It's a bit of a bit of a chill to it. Mm. It started clearing up a bit. The rain stopped and then the cloud sort of passed on its back. Yeah, anyway, a nice cup of tea. So you turn that on. I've got a new lighter. Eey. 
<laughs> Always remember. <laughs> Always remember to just be ready to light it. Don't film your antics. That was a big whoosh of gas, wasn't it? I'll keep that in. I'll let it. I know what I mean. I'll edit that bit out. You can't see that. God, it's so hot. All right, then you just put that on. Plonk it on. Put the lid on and turn it up. And then make a cup of tea. Tea. God. That was my fault, that. I turned the gas on, waited, and then I lit it. So you should be ready to light it. It's never a good idea to film when you're putting gas on me. Don't copy me. Messing here, like. Got me one bag. I was torn between bringing that and the, the summer bag. I'm glad I brought that now. The temperature has gone down. A few beers. There's a couple of Northern Monks. North Brewing Co. Salt. A couple of salts. Um, oh, there's, another, there's a couple more. Somewhere knocking about. Bruce Forsyth. I've got burgers with the French mustard. That's lovely. I didn't think I would like that, but it's really nice. I have that on pizza as well. It's lovely. Um, squash buns. It's hard to transport in buns, isn't it? That's about it, really. So this is almost done in that little section there. So I'll make this. I've got radio signal as well, so... That's good, still using that, see? Still using it. Still using it. Still using this. And the water bottle. All the freebies. Just still using them. So it's not just all talk for the camera. So I've got my tea on. And I'm just chilling out here now. So like, the media mod is handy because you can put a little light on it. It's got a few bright settings and the flash. Why have they always got a flash? Right, that's off. And the, um, the microphone, so you get two. All these cables, look at all the ends on there. You can put it in your, you can put it in your iPhone, your um, Samsung phone. It gives you a spare 3.5. Extension. Oh, that was included, like all the spare bits as well. Right, so what happens is you plug this in, you just plug it in to the media mod and switch it on. I'll just switch it on there, and you switch your microphone on. And I mean, it's uh, it looks ungainly, but you know. That's your, um, that's your plug and play. There's no cables, there's no complex Bluetooth connections or Wi-Fi that will fail. Just plug straight into the media mod. That's why I like using it. But, I mean, you heard the volume of that, that microphone in that last video that I posted. And it wasn't great, was it? I'm going to try it in here. It's, it might have been just because I was outside and I had it on a... Um, a rustly coat, you know. So we'll see. Right, so there we are. We have got the little microphone here. The microphone plugged into the media mod. I've got the light on as well. So just check that. Ooh. Oh, God, that's bright. It's got a diffuser which goes over the top. It's better on your eyes, the diffuser. So just wondering how the volume is. I won't not like edit it, really. I mean, you can watch it back on the um, on the monitor on the camera, but you won't know until you edit and edit the video. I can hear cows mooing out there. I hope it's them ones in the bottom field and not the one. They're not, they're not coming up here. You know, you just can't be bothered. 
cows come up and they much about, they can trip over your guy lanes. Oh, and a pain. Crap everywhere. Yeah, anyway. Right, I'll come back later. It's not much happening. So, I've had a bit of a nightmare. Ah, God. Apart from kneeling on rocks. Um, yeah, look. A hole in the sleeping bag. No. Not just one, though. There's another one up here. There's feathers everywhere. They're getting out. Oh, man. I mean, a bit of tenacious tape will sort that out. Tape it over. But obviously I haven't got any feathers over. Oh, there's going to be feathers everywhere here tomorrow. It's going to be like a flipping... Blood bath in a chicken factory. They're everywhere. Oh, my lovely bag. I've had this bag about seven years. I think it's had its bloody day, like, isn't it? I have got the 1100, but that's too hot to bring out at the minute. Ah, oh, look at that, man. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, well, you know what? I think only a beer is going to solve this problem. Well, it's time to cook my tea. I've got another, that's only my second beer. Say quarter to seven, like. The time's gone fast. Blame Anyway, I've got the real McCoy Wagyu burgers, some smoked cheese, which I've been at, um, squashed buns, and that mustard. It's lovely that. I never thought I would like mustard, but that is really nice. It doesn't taste like mustard. Um, yeah, and I've got me MSR Wind Pro. A lot of people ask what the stove is. MSR Wind Pro. It's good. I've had it years, and it spreads the it spreads the flame, you know, on the bottom of the pan, so you don't get the keep concentrating in the middle so yeah if I was going to recommend a good cooking stove I would say that one and you can invert it as well so you get all the gas I don't need to do it at the minute that's still quite a bit in there all right so I'm just gonna have this as I will bring you back in various stages usual thing cooking burgers look at it out here man uh, I'm not going out there am I Not to worry. I'm out. That's all that matters. Yeah. Right, they're in the pan. Pan's nice and hot. No cooking oil because uh, there's plenty of fat in Wagyu burgers. I'm shouting, aren't I? Can't get used to having a microphone. <laughs> right, so that's on. Air away. Warm my hands up as well. Right. We'll come back. Spitting a bit like. But, uh, you know, they're on the table. Just had uh, some vehicles on that bottom road there. It's like a track, like a quad track. A couple of vehicles, like Land Rovers. They've gone now, like, so that was a bit tense. But, uh, these are nearly done. I think they have just. A couple of minutes more, and then we'll say that they're done. See how they've got the, the fat in there now. Oh, I didn't put any fat in. Oh, I'm spitting all over this fence, and I need a good weed clean out. And I said weed out. This is nice. Invisible city. Hmm. Very nice. This here we go. They are done. What do you reckon? That looks like a big old mouthful. Ready? Mmm.
absolutely perfect. Right, I'm gonna get stuck in. You don't want to he hear me chomping down on these days. Well, I've had my burger. It was nice. I liked it. Just a miserable night, innit? Not much happening, like, a bit of a boring camp, this. And if you like rain and uh, grim views, I suppose it's all right. But I've just, uh, just had everything in. Clean me, clean me pan. Always bring a bit of kitchen roll with us. And double bag in there. So, yeah, that's it really. We'll have another beer. A bit more Craig Charles. He's not live anymore. No more shout outs. No more shout outs on Saturday. I wonder why that is. I wonder what's going on there. The bag with all the down feathers. It's raining again. There's condensation. Actually, actually not. It's quite dry inside. It's all on the outside, that. That's good. Oh, that's good. No condensation on the inside. So I'm just going to basically just chill out. That's it. Just relax. Listen to the music. I've took the microphones off. Don't think they're working, are they? Not good. So I'll leave it off. I've got some snacks for later on. German sausage. So if I get peckish later on um, some pepper army that's about it really right Whew. on with the music so I've just got to uh, put the light on there took the media mod off I said that didn't I because it was just crap I mean I'm gonna buy uh, a decent road microphone I reckon because it is handy um, and I, I think I've released a video just prior to this one I'm doing now where I was out testing the difference between no cover, the media mod, the wind slayer and the, the wireless microphone, the cheap wireless microphone from Amazon <coughs> excuse me um, and I think the wind slayer was the best the wind slayer which is on now was the best option so it's either get a a decent road microphone because all I need is a single one I don't need a double about 190 pound though it's a lot of money you know just for a microphone is it worth it is it worth it you tell me anyway I've got my fourth beer on it's very nice it's a uh, northern monk heathen Lovely. Tis nice. Tis nice. Northern Monk do good, good beers. So I was going to do some impressions. Uh, just to kill a bit of time. So the first impression is... Um, well, you'll know, you'll know who it is. I don't even need to say who it is. My name is Michael Kane. My... I'm going to blow your doors off. Did you know... That... Good. And then Jeremy Clarkson. Oh. Meanwhile, on Clarkson's farm. The speed. The speed. <laughs> Easy one, that one. Um, who else can I do? Sean Connery. Yes, Miss Miss, Miss Money Penny. Um, do you expect me to die, gold fem fingers? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Oh. He's like, do you expect me to talk? No, I expect you to die. You get the point of that one. Yes, Mish Money Penny. Good one, that's me, probably my best one. Um, who else can I do? Lords. Uh, I can do... I'll come back. So my next one, right, is Roger Moore, another Bond. Uh, it's Miss Money Penny. No. 
Ah. Miss. Ah, I can't do more. Ah, I forgot. I forgot the script. Um, the other one was Simon Cowell. Well, darlings, I think I think you're great, but I'll I think you no I think you're crap, but I'll I'll leave it to the rest of the judges. Louis Walsh, what do you think? Well, I think he's great. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. Hey, I'll put you through because you've got an uncle's auntie, next door neighbour's friends who was Irish. By Jackie Charlton. That's it. Um, who else? We do some Geordies. Uh, Peter Beardsley. <laughs> I'm not doing Peter Beardsley. Peter Beardsley goes into a video shop, and he says, um, he says to the girl, he goes, um, I want to borrow Batman forever, and she says, No, no, mate, you've got to bring it back. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have it. Peter Beardsley. Ah, bless Peter Beardsley. He was mint. Well, he still is. I seen him in the garage the other day, like getting fuel. He was in front of me in the, um, the queue for the fuel. Man, he looked like an old bloke. I'm thinking, look at this old fool. It was Beardsley. God, it's terrible. And he drives such a humble car as well. It was like a little Audi A1. Anyway. That's enough of the impressions. I mean, if you want if you want me to do more impressions, right, put in the comments who you want me to do. And on the next video, I'll see if I can fit them in. And I'll give you a name check. Um, but my impressions are good. I practice all the time. Right, we'll crack on with the beer. Morning and that. Morning and things. Ugh. The wind's changed direction. <laughs> It's blown in the door now. Got that. Come in, come back in. Oh dear. Oh, it's freezing as well. Definitely, seasons definitely changed. Um, I'm just gonna I've already pop me mat. First thing I do is let the air up my mat and zip bag so I don't get back in. That's what I do when I get up. There's a slug on the tent. So that can go into France. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna boil some water quickly. Have a quick cup of tea or coffee and get off. Because it's just not pleasant, is it? Go off that way, remember I've got to go that way. You can get disorientated when it's like that. Right. Let's get on. Oh, well I'm out. Packed me back. I'm just gonna drop the tent. Look at it blowing. I've took the um the guy lanes out like. But remember when I said about packing it away, it's just getting stuffed in the bag. You can't be packing it away neatly in weather like this, like You've just got to get it down and in the bag. So I'll do that now. And then we're heading that way. You go down and round that way. You probably could go that way, but I think there's a uh, there's a little drop off, so I don't want to tempt that in this weather. I'll go the way I know. Woo! Right. And as if by magic, gone. Just flat grass. Look, piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. Right, we're gonna head off into the gloom. Ooh, piece of candy. Heading off into the gloom. And uh, that's, that's it for another camp. Another wild one. I think I'm out next week, maybe. And the week after as well. So I've, I've planned two, uh, two weekend camps. So let's see what the weather does then, eh? <laughs> and, as Billy Island once said, when the going gets tough, let's get, make like a tree and get out of here. Boosh! Whew. I can see a thing. <laughs>